All right, guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing my first video of my SMP that I've been grinding on for months. So, basically, I started an SMP, um, and I want you guys to join. I've been grinding on it for the past while with a couple friends, but now I'm inviting you guys to join. And today, for the first video, I'm going to be doing a prison review, unedited. But yeah, we have many videos to post with Minecraft. I used to main Minecraft, and we're back to maining it. And we stream it so much, so go follow my Twitch, link in description, and it's cash underscore sus, C-A-S-H underscore S-U-S. But yeah, we're back into Minecraft, and I've been spending months and months on this SMP slash server slash realm. And um, today I'm just going to be showing you one part of the SMP, and that's the prison. But if you guys want to join, make sure to comment down below your Discord, and I'll go ahead and try you out. Make sure you're active, and we'll go ahead and tell you some rules and get you in the server. But... Yes, so, uh, my name is Cash, this is the Cash SMP, I'm going to be showing you guys a prison reveal. So, um, yeah, Th these are just, I'll show you a little bit of the Cash SMP so far. And, uh, yeah, obviously if you were joined, we would tell you some rules and stuff like that, but yeah. Stay tuned for many more Minecraft videos on my SMP and speedrunning and just other fun challenges and mods in Minecraft coming up soon on my YouTube. But yeah, we have so much to post on this SMP on YouTube, and we have so much to post in just Minecraft videos in general, so like, sub, hit the bell, so you never miss when I upload a Minecraft video. And go follow my Twitch link in the description and hit the bell there, so you never miss when I go live on the SMP, or for when I speedrun or do a fun mod. So, um, yeah, so, I would start off by over here, the, pr uh, the visitor, the prisoner would be waiting, right, uh, not prisoner, but they'd be waiting, waiting right out there, and I would go ahead and I would open, these two doors then they would go ahead and walk in and they would go ahead and walk up to this book that by the way guys this would take 30 to 40 minutes i'm just going to give you a quick 10 to 20 minute brief overview of it so they'd go ahead and read these two pages and then sign their name at the end some people have already signed it but yeah so after they read that agreement they will go ahead and stand in front of one of the walkers probably door one um yeah, then after they do that, I would go ahead, they'll be standing in front, I would go ahead and open this door, and I would flick down the lever for door one. Then door one would be open, they'd put their stuff in the ender chest and the normal chest, and only I would be able to um, access it, so no one would be able to steal anything. Then after they're done, um, I'll go ahead and close out of those two, and get out of this control panel room. By the way, I built this all in the yeah, took Ooh, pretty much a month in total, just weeks and weeks. But then after that, they would go ahead and stand on, that's my fatigue, they would go ahead and stand on this block. So far it would have been like 10 minutes already of me just asking them questions, stuff like that. I would flick that lever down, and that block would disappear. After that, we would walk down this little dark tunnel. Then we would come up here. There would be two more agreements to sign. Then after that, they would go ahead and come here. I would flick that lever in there. They would right-click that bed. Then they would jump in the lava. Now, this is just to prove that they have no items on them and uh, stuff like that. Oh, I'm wearing a dream skin. Whoops. Then after that, they would respawn here. And as soon as they exit that little box, I would flick that lever back down. Uh, wow, I got the placement perfect. Then this chest is a test to see if they would take anything or not. But then I would flick those two. Levers open, the wall opens up. Then they would go first in this little tunnel of water. It's not that long, so you don't need water breathing, but with a couple times of opening and closing the door, you can get in the tunnel. You just swim through. Obviously, the prisoner would be in front of me at all times, or the visitor, just to make sure they don't do anything bad. Then they would go ahead and walk up, 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 all the way to this lava. They would stand at the edge here, hopefully not burn themselves. Then I would come down here and I would flick that lever down. Then eventually the lava would go down. It might take a couple minutes, but yeah. This room, like the prison, like I would say the, the prison is about like 70 to 80% to 60. Well, no, like 70 to 80% complete. There's still some just little detail, not details, details I need to do to make things a little bit better and just cooler and more safe. But yeah, so after that, then I would go ahead and place a honey block. The prisoner would stand on this back honey block. I would break this. Then once I make sure we're all secured, I would hit this lever once, 
and then not well not once and then twice then we'd fall along with the bridge just make sure we don't fall then after that we would walk on this push piston and then go down here really secure so these are the cells for people that are staying for like one day so it's pretty still not high security but it's, it's just basic security because there's no point in them breaking out they're only here for one day so that's why they're not as high security. So then after that, you'd walk past these couple doors. I need to move some beacons. Then you'd walk in this room right here. That door is supposed to be closed. But yeah, you'd, you'd walk past all that. And I need to fill that with um, obsidian down there. Then you'd go ahead and walk through this room. Then after that, I would go ahead and flick this lever. They would right-click that bed. Then I would open that up and sword them to death. Then after that... Um, they would respawn out of that room. Then I would close that. Then they would go ahead and stand in there one more time. So it would be closed. Then I would open it one more time. Throw a potion. And, um, yeah. Then after that, we would go ahead. That's just a brief overview of the room. Then after that, we would go ahead and walk in here. Okay. So after we walk in here, then there's this little, like, contraption I made. You'd hit this lever... And then one more time. Oh. Okay. You'd hit it once. And then. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Um. Okay, that is supposed to go up. I'll fix that later. That's embarrassing. But there's going to be cobblestone walls around it so it looks better. And it's impossible to jump across here without that bridge up. So I'll fix it later. But that bridge would go up after hitting that lever twice. Let me just try one more time. But, yeah. It would go up then. There would be a little path. Then I would hit this twice. And then it would go back down. And that thing would push back out. Then we'd be on the other side. Then we'd go ahead and walk um, over here to this door. Then we'd hit this lever just to open it. Nothing crazy at all. But, yeah. So then we're kind of back to where we started. Then from a prisoner's point of view, they would go ahead and stand right in front of those two doors. Now, I would flick that lever. The two doors would open. Then I would make sure the prisoner go ahead stands on this, and they would stand on one of the honey blocks. Then after they do that, I would hit this lever to drop the lava in front here. I will just be watching them, making sure. And if they're visiting, I would be watching the prisoner. Then the main cell's over there, so to get the main cell lava down, then next I would hit that lever and make that lava go down for the main cell. I would be standing, watching the person in the cell with their name tag and on the bridge carefully. Okay. Okay, then once it falls down, I would go ahead and stand with them too. Then I'd hit that twice. We'd follow the bridge along. Then they would be here to in the main cell, which is layers. There's like three layers of obsidian on this side, four on this side, four on that side, six down, six down, and then like six up, and then lava surrounding each and every direction, up, down, side, side, and in front, of course. But then after that, I would hit break that block then i would watch them i'd be watching them very carefully i leave that honey block there because it doesn't matter they can't really do much with it um then i would hit the lever really fast then i would watch them then i'd set their spawn point there by a secret mechanism then i'd watch them and wait till the lava falls down just like that then if they're still in there everything perfect then i can go ahead and drop the lava too right here so I hit this lever, and the lava will drop for the rest of everything, too. And even more back there, too. So, boom! Then they're safely secured and locked in there. Then there's an automatic potato farm, so you don't need to worry about food. That would shut. So, yeah. That's them locked away. You guys on another video where I show you behind the scenes and all the redstone and how I built it and stuff. Then, uh, like, sub, and I'll go ahead and give you guys that video. But, uh, yeah. This is video one on the SMP. Many more to come and many more people to join and just content coming out soon of Minecraft in general, not even just the SMP. But yeah, then after that, the lockdown procedures, just make sure, that, make sure the lava goes down perfect. Just make sure that goes down right there. Alright, then I can go ahead and leave. 
And, um, yeah, now everything is locked up, and, uh, I think it's basically impossible for them to, uh, escape. Especially since the minor fatigue. But, um, yeah, I can't wait to post more Minecraft videos with mods, speedrunning, and on my SMP. Um, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me just finish locking up the prison really quick. If you do join and pass the, if you, like, obviously I'll type your Discord down below. I'll add some of you guys. I'll try you out. And if you do join, follow the rules, sign some things. It's not that hard of a process. But if you do join, then you'll get a starter kit. It's pretty good items. You could choose to have it or not. And, um, yeah. But, yeah, you, you don't have to have it. Um, but, yeah. So, yeah, that's the prison all locked up now. Um, one more thing just to lock it up even more. Um, but yeah. Okay, it is literally locked up now. Then. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, okay, then I would go there. Boom, it's locked up. Alright, guys, can't wait to post more videos on Minecraft everything. Type your Discord down below so I, so I could try you out for my SMP. And, um, yeah, hopefully see some of you guys in my SMP soon and in my video soon. And one of the main requirements that I'll just say now is for when you type your Discord, just don't be a squeaker and just basically be active. Obviously not every second. I'll be lenient for the first couple weeks, but just, just be active, okay? Thank you guys so much. See you in future Minecraft videos on my SMP speedrunning mods. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Go follow my Twitch. Be streaming speedrunning and this SMP there a lot. Link in description. But yeah. Bye, guys. See you in the next video. Have a great night or day. Bye, guys.